All right. It's been a while since I've posted a video. Lots going on. And one of the most important things that one must remember when there are challenges in their lives is the gratitude and appreciation for things that are good. And that is almost all of it. When you think about it, you know, from people's gardens, you know, think of memories of, of, of friends and, and meals and celebrations and generally good health and access to food and, you know, gas, get your own car, you got the internet, you can communicate with the entire world at home by yourself. We live in that time. It's complex. It's um, a lot of changes. A lot of changes. And they're happening fast. I'm a fan of knowing about history. And you learn a lot about cycles. International history is not really knew about how we cycle as a species. We just got to get along better. And I think what has to happen is we have to understand that in spite of struggles, we can still bring some center joy and some peace and some calm and some presence in our own lives. In spite of all the chaos, it's important. I had a real nice weekend. Um, got to spend some time with Jane Goodall and my friend uh, Darlene and John and a few people that I knew from the foundation uh, over the years. I, I was so honored to be invited. I really was. And I got to talk with Jane and she's such an inspiration. I have shared her stories for years and years. She's top shelf love. There's a lot of people like that in this world. And you have to be reminded that that as much as you love these people, they're doing work, trying to correct some problems. And they were able to break through and communicate with a lot of people and make some positive changes so we don't cycle in a negative way. I had given a talk the other night at some art collaboration up in Los Angeles and um, I talked about my time in Romania working with the Ukrainian refugees and uh, my decades of humanitarian work and how it, how it worked in this conversation of thinking outside the box. Artists do that very often. You look for you look for an expression, you look for a moment of things it feels, you get really in tune to what's going on in this world. And that's why uh, people create. It's a way to express a better way of living your life and hopefully sharing the life like that with others in a good way. I met a couple of guys, young guys, who wanted to chat with me after my, my talk. I talked to a few people, but these two guys were really cool. And one of them asked me to, to um, possibly have an interview with him uh, for his acting class. He's a younger guy, both of them younger guys. I talked, I talked like an older brother. I talked like an uncle. I've got life experiences. I want young people to know these lessons. And I said to them, that you got to be present. you got to be centered. This is how. It's the way I know. Let me share it with you. If, it, if you find something on your own, you share it with someone else. Pass the torch. And then I hugged them both. One of them patted me like that. You know, da, 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 <laughs> come burping me. And the other one just like, you know, just quick. I said, no, man, when you hug somebody, you hug. And then you slowly... You slowly let go. But, you know, all of the arms show that way. You're still connecting good energy with people. It's one thing I admire about going back to Europe, especially Italy. Oh, my God, you know, we're all kissing each other all the time. Cheeks 
Serbia, yeah, just as well. Even Romania. I love that part. Spain, Spaniards are like that, really warm. Mexicans, oh my god, I love Mexican culture. I do. I love Mexican culture. I'm going to improve my Spanish. But there's a lot of sense of affection. And when cultures have better affection for one another, we tend to get along better. We'll never have peace. So let's not be having fantasies about it. We can have civility. And we can be genuine with each other's presence and space. And that's what you want. So we talked about, you know, for about, I don't know, half hour, maybe one or two, three minute interview, half hour, maybe, maybe, maybe more, maybe 45 minutes, I don't know. Showed them my artwork, showed them the garden, working on, reminded them that when things are in my own spirit are cycling, right? Um, I got family stuff and concern for the world and climate change. I go places to the garden or to the garden today. I got a couple of pieces of art. I've got a, I've sent off to some people that I have a special place in my heart. Right. I'm going to go see my friend up in the Bay area. Uh, she's going to be 81 this year and she's now in a senior citizen home. And uh, we've known each other for about 34 years thick and thin and uh, she may be having some dementia you know this is life so I'm going to bring my camera equipment and take photos with her and her family and visit some of my other friends I sang at their wedding I watch the kids grow up it's such a happy family this is it this is it it's not that complicated we don't need to make it so. That's why I live in a modest and simple life works. Plus, I gotta tell you something odd. Um, I do listen to music on my podcast. No, pod, earbud, sorry. And uh, I've been listening to Tom Jones the last couple of days and I'm going this son of a bitch what a sexy son of a bitch Jesus Louise's women oh I'm sure they swooned over him oh my gosh what are they doing throwing their underwear at him in Las Vegas Jesus Man. I hope they weren't some of those real big ones probably knock them out scared of that but good night Don't make it complicated. Okay. Don't make it complicated. Cheers.